I'll mine it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> Game. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so we just watched uh, Borta episode uh, 48. Uh, dealt with Iwabe's feelings about uh, what happened last time where they got suspended now. How he views, like, what a ninja ought to be. It was pretty... It was a pretty simple episode, I would say. It was pretty much, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that to prove on myself as, like, a ninja. I can be cool, too. I'm not gonna be a repeating getting. <laughs> this guy's gotta chill. Guy held his kids for a, for an entire year before having them join the exams. Right? He was so stuck on that thought, just repeating again. Even um, Denki, like I don't think it really applies here. You just became a Genin. You no, just... I'm not repeating. I'm gonna become a Chunin. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna be a Chunin at these Chunin exams, okay? And then, and then when when the Genin exam, when the Jonin exams come, I, I'm gonna be a Jonin too. <laughs> I'm gonna re I ain't gonna repeat. What do you think this is? <laughs> I'm never repeating again. When they receive the mission, this is my chance. It didn't help that the able everyone there had the same mindset too. Like, I guess that makes us all repeaters then. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Team repeater. And so they had to do this mission for to do a promotional video as far as like what uh what do Gennings do to help uh other youngins become getting too because they apparently had like they did did talk about how they had a, a shortage shortage of uh ninjas yeah nowadays because there's a bunch of different like branches that go off of like namida for example who was shown in the preview wanted to continue her studies instead of becoming a ninja she wanted to go into like middle school essentially but everyone's like no fuck that no you should become a ninja <gasps> i guess i will become a ninja boro to like Bit be a ninja. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, my dad offered me a job at his at his plumbing his, contract <laughs> with his plumbing contract. No, ninja. ninja. Freaking Boruto's right there stomping kids out in the bathroom stalls. You're gonna be a ninja. <laughs> Walking to the bathroom, he's just like staring at you. Hey, you wanna be a ninja? <laughs> hey, kid, you wanna do some ninja? What are you do when you graduate? <laughs> uh. Going to take a part time job. No! <laughs> it's like that um, scene in the backyard where this guy's just slapping everyone. Yeah. Hey, what are you. Hey, what's going on? I know what you're talking about, yeah. <laughs> this was actually kind of a cool episode in the sense that it, it kind of brought back what it means to be a ninja for uh, the new generation versus the old generation. Mm -hmm. And it was all kind of showcased. Uh, between Iwabe's perspective and then Udon's uh, perspective, which was actually really cool because he never really got that much spotlight because of Konohamaru. Ironically, how uncool he kind of was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking Naruto! <laughs> Look at this little shit. <laughs> Why don't you do, Naruto? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. What's funny is that Naruto shows up in that flashback. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you see, go to Aubrey, see Moogie too. You see Naruto just hanging out the window, like, hey, look at this. You know what? It, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that scene. Hey, look at this. It reminds me of that scene from like movies and whatnot, where there's like that stereotypical dude who. Took his senior year like 13 years in a row. Mm -hmm. And then he shows up to high school to laugh at the kid who got a fucking D. <laughs> he's out there put he's out there. What a fucking loser. Can't even get your math right as he starts mopping the floor. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. But there was a lot of tension, like, uh, with even the people who were running the promotional video. They were like, oh, do something really cool. Uh, you're right, we should totally do something cool. And then, like, once Udon pulled them out from all that, uh, they they all had, like, a little fight amongst each other. Just 
Yeah, they're just, just out of frustration. Yeah, Wabo was just gonna you know, fight everybody. <laughs> An alternative story for uh, Sasuke is what I'm hearing. Right. But uh, no, what happened was, you know, Udon was talking about how like you know, it seems like you have an idea like what ninja ought to be instead of what they actually are. And you know, I didn't. I wasn't always like this cool. <laughs> like you weren't. Nah, I was a loser. <laughs> Dude, I was a fucking dweeb. I still still have a problem to this day. <laughs> you guys ever hear of an atomic wedgie? Yeah, like daily. <laughs> it got to the point where my mom stopped buying me underwear. Bought me belts. <laughs> Gotta say, man, chafing made me a man. Ooh, I have a new jutsu. Want to see it? No. <laughs> <laughs> He did have a cool jutsu to bring everyone out of the rubble. Those guys were like trying to get some cool shots, like in this like deserted building. They were trying to blow stuff up, and then the entire roof collapsed, and then they were all in there. And Udon pulled out this like cool water style jutsu, but it was also really gross. It was his snuff. yo, and it cuts to them like panicking, and he's just see like this big old puddle. Yo. What? Fucking oh. gross. It's pretty great, though. I was like, wait, was that... Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Having said that, afterwards, they did have the promotional video showing, like, the actual realistic lifestyle of a Geni, which is to take on various missions of sorts. They don't really involve actual, like, jutsu using, but just... Just working to protect people. And that was kind of the whole idea of why Naruto selected these... This group. They obviously had a falling out. They just got out of suspension. And after... The whole, was it Byakugo? I forget, like, their actual pronunciation. It was like Byakugan? Yeah. The whole gang situation where the gang were most appreciative of their own actions. To see these guys have a falling out, like, just early on when they were trying to do something. I think that's where Naruto had, like, that instant uh, thinking that, like, well, I should probably have these guys in charge of it. It was definitely worth it to see that last bit. It was like, you're Wabi. You know who I am? Oh, yeah, I heard the famous repeater. <laughs> and was like, you Wabi. <laughs> you all right, man? We gotta talk about this. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit, so he is a Ganning still. I'd always thought that he just kind of got fast checked through. That's what I thought the, too. Through everything, but no, I guess he was. I guess like he was pushed so hard to learn all of the knowledge that is necessary to be Hokage that he never had time to take his exam. I think it's one of those instances where he saw an application for Hokage and he was curious about it. He clicked it and he got back and he got the interview and that was it. <laughs> Tell me, Mister uh, Uzumaki, what, what's your uh, skill set? Um, I played a big part in the uh, fourth Ninja War. Oh, okay. So, uh, um, I don't have an arm. So, 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 so. I um study against my own will. And oh. uh, my oh, and the person who trained me is the sixth Okage, and my father is the fourth. Oh, okay. I'm who also... was trained by the third? Who was trained by the second? Who was the brother of the first? So you know, I'm kind of related to the first. First Okage and all, given the fact that, you know, I have his spirit within me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I got also six pa and six paths stuff, so um, put that on my resume, too. Oh, and if you don't accept me, I'll destroy the village by unleashing my nine tails chakra. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'll talk about this. I don't know. I'm also, uh, I'm also currently married to Hinata. Is that the main branch line? <laughs> that was the deciding factor. Okay, no, he's good. I'd also like to to bring bring to the jury the fact that she took my name instead of me taking hers. And although I'm in Uzumaki, I have blonde hair. He's a weird, he's a rare one. And, and get this, I bet you'll never have a Hokage with whiskers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's so weird. Mm -hmm. I thought that too because you know, like the whole thing was like, I'm gonna recommend you as Jonin. Or I'd like to say that. But you need to study. Here's, uh, Iruka and Shikamaru will help you through this. And you just think like, well, you just probably just studied for a long time. 
Probably. But he never took the exams. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't just question. I'll just leave it at that. Because he's, he's competent enough. He's got... He deals with, like, five-foot paper to stacks all day, so... He just... He, he just never has a break. You know what he should do? He should send himself to the tuning exams. Send his clone to the tuning exams. Yeah. So last couple of days, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next episode is uh, going to be focused on um, Sumerai, Nagoda, and uh, Wasabi. It looks like they're dealing with a lot of animal stuff. Wasabi and uh, Nagoda have a falling out. So it's kind of like the same formula as... um. Which has happened in this episode, but just like from different teams. And I think that's totally fine. I think yeah. that just kind of gives you an idea of like where they're at, especially with the tuning exams being this, th- this pretty much big. being the sun in the sky that's always ever present. Yeah. Sun's not ever present though. I guess so. Yeah, you're right. But it's some kind of like star that's like hanging around that you can see for the most part. Yeah. Uh. It's, it's hanging on the back of everyone's head, so. It does affect their performance, and I guess their metal's going to be tested out, too. No, he got tested this episode. I know I, I know what you mean, but just, you know, you know, we're done with this discussion. <laughs> All right, and we'll just see what happens in the next episode, and from here on. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to know more about our Borto discussions, please be sure to subscribe, and also hit that subscribe bell button just to know when we upload videos by the minute. And also support our Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hashtag bye, everyone. Hey, Justin, am I yes. famous yet? No, you're going to repeat. <laughs> you're going to learn. <laughs>